Hello coin collectors out there. Now we have a 1967 Roosevelt dime right on top here. That's what today's focus of the video is going to be about. But just want to kind of run through these cooler bicentennial coins which came out nine years after the 1967 dime. Now these coins, which you've probably seen before, are very popular coins. However, their mintages weren't quite as high as this one right here. This is the 1967 Roosevelt dime. I'll zoom in for you. And this was the highest mintage ever Roosevelt dime. So there are 2,244,000,000 7,320 of these produced. As you see right here, it doesn't have a mint mark on it, indicating that it came from the Philadelphia mint. Now we're going to talk about the value of this coin a little bit later. I also want to talk to you about the 1955 Roosevelt dime, uh, which there are only 12 million produced. That is the lowest mintage uh, business class Roosevelt dime coin that was struck. We're also going to talk about the 1996 W Roosevelt dime, which had the lowest mintage ever of Roosevelt dimes at just 1,457,000. However, that was made just for collectors, but uh, there's always collectors out there that are, you know, releasing those coins back into circulation. Someone might inherit them, not know what to do with them, just see that it's a dime dated 1996, not really think much of it, and then release it back. And that's when uh, coin collectors, cherry pickers, uh, coin roll hunters like me and you can find those coins and then sell them for a very, very, very big premium. Now let's uh, get back to the 1967 Roosevelt dime. So the key to this coin, coin, if you want it to be worth any money, is if it, it has to have the full bands designation. Now looking at the PCGS coin uh, price guide right now, you would normally expect a uh, mint state 67 coin to be worth a ton of money. However, a, a 1967 MS 67 is going to be worth just $18. If it has that FB designation, a FB uh, MS67 will be worth $225. Now, the key differential, the differential there is that um, if it has the full bands going across, which are just kind of the, uh, the little dividers going up uh, uh, horizontally across the torch, now that is what's known as full bands. So keep your eye out for that. Uh, feel free to watch some of my other videos about full bands or about other people uh, have produced. They'll have a lot of information in them, and that's how you differentiate between the full bands. So 1967 dimes, not really worth anything unless you get up to the MS-68, which are super, super, super rare, unless you get that full bands on the back. And also, to have the full bands designation, it means that it probably was made during the early uh, usage of that particular die. So the die that's used is the you know piece of metal that slams into the planchet that has the design. Those uh, dies get worn out, so the coins that are made at the beginning of those dies that are being used um, are going to have a better image uh, implanted onto the actual dime. So keep your eye out for that full bands, but let's get into a more interesting coin the 1996 W Roosevelt dime. So the 1996 W Roosevelt dime is the first dime since 1796 to bear the W mint mark. Uh, these coins were produced at the West Point Mint to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Roosevelt dime series. The coins were only sold as part of a special 11 coin mint set that were released in early 1996. Surprisingly, the 1996 W Roosevelt dime also has the lowest mintage of any Roosevelt dime. Its mintage is even lower than silver dimes made from 1946 till 1964. However, since the 1996 W dimes are not released into circulation, it's technically not the lowest mintage Roosevelt dime business class strike. That title right there is held by the 1955 Philadelphia Mint. So a little bit about the, uh, actually let's get into some of the prices. So a uh, 1996 W, uh, since they were uh, released just in uh, collector sets, most of the ones that are actually out there are in very high grade condition. So PCGS has a price guide of a MS-68 at $90. And in fact, they've actually graded 630 of those. They've graded 1,896 at the Mint State 67. 
So those uh, coins out there that are the uh, 1996 W, although they have low mintage, the only people that picked them up were coin collectors as they were sold in special sets. So most of the population that's out there is in very high graded coin. Another one to look for is the 1955. Now that is actually going to be worth a little bit more um, in the same condition than the uh, 1996 W because those uh, haven't survived as well. Those were released just for, uh, they were released as part of the normal run that the Mint did. So there are, um, those were tossed around in circulation. People really didn't think too much of them, spent them at will, so they're not uh, in as good of shape. So a Mint State 67 has a uh, PCGS price guide of 110 bucks. And a little bit about that coin itself, the 1955P Roosevelt Dime has the lowest mintage in the entire circulation strike Roosevelt Dime series. The only other lower mintage dime was the one that we were talking about earlier. However, that wasn't made for circulation. The 1955P Roosevelt Dime is easily obtainable in circulated grades and trades for a belt melt value only for a uh, circulated coin. A mint state to uh, MS64 grades, they go for a slight premium, but they can still be easily acquired. In grades MS65 to MS66, they are somewhat tougher to find, and the real money is when it cracks into the mint state 65 grade. Those become scarce and hard to find. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We talked a lot about the 1967 Roosevelt time, about how the mintage is on that one were astronomically high. They were over 2 billion. We talked about the 1946 uh, Roosevelt, excuse me, the 1996 W Roosevelt dime, which was made at the West Point Mint as part of a special set, and the 1955 Philadelphia Mint Roosevelt dime, which is the lowest uh, circulating mintage for the Roosevelt dime. All right, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed. If you're still watching, please do like, comment, subscribe. Best of luck coin collecting out there, everyone. Enjoy.